Hi, this is Bob Warner with GreenBeeHives.com. Today we're going to demonstrate the use of a reusable mic count board. And what we've done is we've cut this to the size of our tray that fits under our screen bottom board. If you don't have a screen bottom board, you can make a little screen to protect the mic count board using 8x8 wire cloth and just staple it to a few strips of plywood or similar. We have the IPK under this hive which has a screen over a tray and the tray has cooking oil in it to capture small hive beetles. Uh, we're going to empty that and we're going to spray our mic count board with cooking oil which should cost you less than two dollars at Walmart. We have the mic count boards for sale on our website for five dollars. They're normally eight fifty. The nice thing is this is coated so that you can reuse it time and time again just by scraping off the old cooking oil and the old mites that are on it and reusing it. I'm going to spray it right now. We're going to take it back and we're going to slide it in the tray under the hive. 24 hours later I'm going to come back pull the board out and take a photograph. We'll post the photograph at the end of this video so you can see the mites on the board. I recommend that you do this once a month from March through October so you can see the ebb and flow of burrow mites in your hive. Forewarned is forearmed. It's important to know because this is the number one cause of hive failure for new beekeepers because they don't see the varroa mites, they don't know they have a problem. How you treat them is up to you. We have a thermal treatment called the Victor on our website that requires no chemicals. It uses warm air that's deadly for the mites, but it's safe for the bees. There are at least three or four other methods of killing varroa mites. If you don't kill them, they will kill the hive. There's small high beetles there that drown in the water and cooking oil. Do it. Let us up. That's all there is to it. 